All right, guys, today we are going to dive into a pair of glasses by Blake Kuahara. There are several different variations of these, a lot of colorways, a lot of options. You can get them sunglassed or clear lenses. And of course, that means we can do any sort of custom lens or prescription work we choose. Let's get into it and have some fun with these guys and see what makes the chambers such a special piece in the collection. So as it goes, I try not to get into anything too, too basic so I don't get bored in the video. <laughs> now, if you're new here, do me a favor, smash that subscribe button, stick around and see sorts of cool frames you won't find anywhere else along with the tips to take care of your glasses and get them fitting properly, right? Now, this guy is one that you won't see very often anywhere, at least in this specific colorway. So it is a very unusual one. This is a combination or uh, at least a sort of a combination of a thing. Several companies went in together to create these. The acetate was only run, I believe it was two, possibly three. I know LA Eyeworks was involved in the collaboration, Blake O'Hara, obviously, but I think there was a third one. I'll have to ask and check on that. If you wanna know that, I will do my best to drop that down in the comments below. Ask me, I will tell you, I will find out the answer if it was just the two or there's a third. But what it amounts to is they went in, they had Mazu Kelly produce this beautiful acetate, which is a very, very beautiful translucent rainbow. So you've got the very nice color shift, your true, true, beautiful, almost a stained glass translucence to it. So wears really nicely on the face. They do make this as a sunglass option. I actually have a set of sun lenses around here somewhere for this thing from the first one we sold and put prescription lenses in. Incredible that I've been able to get my hands on two of these, by the way, because this was a very limited allocated run. They like me, I guess. What's up with that? <sighs> Chambers overall, let's speak more to the construction rather than this limited colorway, because this might be gone before you even see the video. They've been selling out like crazy. So, nice blue translucence through there. I want the whole frame in this blue. I'm just throwing that out there. Now, on to what actually matters. Really good on that kind of a large oversized look, but wears really well on kind of a medium face. The bridge fit is really good, and I do like that on most of the Blakes. They've got a nice splay to them through the bridge. It's a good fit. That's something I would compare to Leibach and York in the way it sits and fits on the face. And that is definitely a compliment for any brand, I promise you. Now, what's really nice here, and again, you will always find me point this out, is the detailing across this bridge, uh, the brow, rather. That just very, very subtle, it is incredibly annoying to produce something like this and make it look good, but it picks up light really, really well, just flows tip to tip. There you go, that's it, start over here. Toss it over there, it's beautiful. So you get this nice refraction of light across the top because you do have a very good, it's, uh, something like that. It's just a little bit of an angle across that to let light dance across that brow line. It makes for a really nice effects when, wear, when worn and adds some dimension to a frame that's already got a lot of dimension because all of these are essentially two frames in one, right? They take their two frames, they cut and mill it out, they fuse it all together, and that's how you get this encasement and outline all the way around the frames. All five barrel hinges on this one, which are always welcome and nice to see. And then we don't have a riveted on hinge, which hmm, sometimes good, sometimes bad. What's really cool with all the Blake Kuharas, this is true for everything except their gray label, is that 45 degree mitered hinge. So you have that true seamless look, fit, and feel when that is open fully. Sits really good on the face. Overall weight, I'll say this one is a little bit on the heftier side and a little bit more front heavy than some of the other pieces out there. You know, it's definitely not as light as the T. Henry's, but then you've got a titanium core, so it does run a little bit lighter than what these do with the surgical steel cores. The shields on these are a really nice touch. And let's see, it is a faux shield, so not actually fully riveted on, but it is a nice cut and dimension to it. So it is that larger thick piece over here that I'm talking about. 
where it's got some nice dimension and depth. There's some cuts through there that make it just look a little bit nicer. And of course, in the tips, you have your little signature Blake Kuahara logo seated back there. Another one of those nice expensive details that eh, sometimes it gets noticed, sometimes it doesn't. One thing I think is a little bit interesting on these versus some of the others, it's somewhat inverted from normal, okay? So the Blake Kuahara pieces, the temple tips, you generally have a nice roll and cut to that outside edge. This one remains more flat on that outside edge and the cut and angle is on the inside. Since I happen to have one here handy, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about so you don't think I'm completely crazy, even though I probably am. And that is on this guy here, you can see that rolls a little bit more on the outside. It rolls on the inside too, but it's just interesting with this thicker design. We didn't see that really play through in the design quite as much. Yeah, definitely one to get. I will say if you do run across one of these, grab it. You probably won't see it twice. Very short batch run on these. All of the Blake Gohars are limited batch, but these in particular, yeah. It will never be rerun in the future because of the way this acetate was bought and the way it was done. Very limited, very cool. Grab it if you see it. That's my recommendation. So I'll put a link down below on that note to the chambers. This one will be there. It's in my hand. When it is not, it will not be there. So I'm sorry. If you don't see it on my site, I can't get another one. <sighs> That's all I've got on the chambers. Very cool one. If I was gonna pick up from a, a colorway for myself, I would do the crystal with the black outline. Beautiful piece. I still am on the fence about getting one myself. I keep hoping that one of these with the blue as the entire frame will be made. I probably won't get that lucky. Anyways, I'll catch you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts on the chambers or if you have one and wear one, definitely let me know your thoughts on it then. I'll catch you guys next time.